Ready, Vin Vin? I'm ready, Giselle. Where do we go? Um, Saratoga. Saratoga. Uh, why? To prove that California wines are muy tasty. <laughs> then what? Well, I don't know, maybe French wine. <laughs> She's there. You will see. You're so funny. <laughs> I know. You're funny. Woman. I know. Right. Let's go. Nova's a man who works on a winery, and he's going to tell us about California wine. But we have to find him first. Okay, so here we are, Saratoga, California. Yeah. The address is a bit unclear. So where do we go, Giselle? I, I'd say straight. In France, when you look for a castle, in general you see it everywhere because it's very famous, because it's very good. A castle? Castle is where you do wine. Oh, all of your wineries are castles? Yeah, most of them. We are lost now, we are in the forest. We've turned Turn around. around. Again? Maybe. Ew. We're turning around Can I again. Do that? a big red gate, we go in the gate, two and a half mile dirt road, arrival. Wow, wow. We made it. Azur, nos baies sont bondées d'un cri, et je m'éveille songeant aux fruits noirs de la Nibe, dans sa cupule verruqueuse et tronquée. Do you always salute the world? Yeah. I celebrate the world, Giselle. It's the right idea. My name is Nova Perel, and I originally grew up in Mendocino County, rural Mendocino County. I am technically a winemaker. I got into this kind of business kind of by accident. I thought I was going to be sipping wine and the sun setting, and it's a beautiful, romantic thing. What I found out was that it's extremely hard work. Do you drink wine? Yeah, I drink a lot of wine. It becomes part of your day-to-day -day routine. The changes it goes through and the different qualities are just amazing and it really never gets boring. How does the California landscape dictate what kind of things you're growing? People fall in love with the ideas of, of growing certain varietals, even though possibly the site is not ideal for those grapes. But if you wanted to express the character of soil, this concept of terroir. You really have to work hard matching up the right vine with your soil and with your climate. What's terroir? Terroir is basically a blanket word for your soil, your climate, how much rain you get, and all that together dictates terroir. So you say, my terroir is better than yours. Terroir is everything, Giselle. Everything? Terroir is the world. What do you mean everything? World. Because terroir is a mix of land, wind, rain, human work, history, centuries and centuries of civilization. civilization. Wow. You see? Terroir. So this wine is a red wine, a white wine? This wine, in fact, is Cabernet Sauvignon. So it's French? Yes, it is French. The source for all of California's grapes, I would speculate to say at one point, all were from France. Except for maybe Gorge demeanor, that doesn't sound very French. <laughs> A lot of these grapes originated in places other than France. It seems an impossible coincidence that France can have so many ideal growing situations for every popular grape that, that we know of. It's pretty impressive. Do you have any more questions? No. no. Now that you said French no, no, wine is the best, <laughs> it's over. And there are many wines in California that would really blow a lot of people's minds if they got their hands on them. Can we taste? Yeah, we could taste some wine here. I have no wine from these vines, but we could taste my wine. Sure. Maybe this wine. Here's one of those wine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It really is like uh, enjoying art. You take the same kind of attitude with wine. Every portrait, painting, photograph is slightly different and interesting, and every bottle of wine theoretically is the same story. Wine, like people and, and many other things, has personality. So I think what you find in California wines is a really casual sophistication, whereas French, you know, it's steeped and rooted in, in tradition and it's very robust and it's, it's all these different things. So I think the wine speaks of the people. I kind of tend to not to say that one is better than the other and I kind of also don't like that there's two countries here when there's so many countries now that make uh, wine, decent wine, but uh, if I had to choose, California. Well, I'm not French, but I can tell you for one thing, Californian wine is not the best in the world. French wine in general probably actually is, and that's coming from an Englishman. Love California wine. I'm willing to say that California wine is the best wine. For me, nothing can touch French wine. I don't, I don't care where it's from. My favorite thing to do is to take someone who likes California Pinot Noir and open up a good bottle of Burgundy with them so they understand what it's supposed to taste like. Bonjour, America! <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Steve Garfield, and the reason I like Californian wines is the fact that I can go to California and visit the wineries and develop some sort of a relationship with the wineries themselves. I have a question. Why do you want to know if I prefer Californian or French wine? I mean, we have excellent German wine. Riesling, uh, Le Spätburgunder, Gewürztraminer, but you want to talk about French and Californian wine. Just so long as it's cheap, so I could buy a lot. Uh, otherwise, I don't really see the point.